Touching lives, making a difference Show the world that you care Helping out one another We can all make a change Reach out, touch somebody Put a smile on their face Helping out one another We can all make a change Touching lives Making a difference Touching lives Making a difference Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello Ghana and welcome to Airtel's Touch and Lives. And I'm sure you've heard the great news already. Touch and Lives is back on your screen after a breathtaking season one, which I'm glad to announce to you won a prestigious award. And that is the television program of the year 2009. And then this award is for the Telecom Company of the Year 2010 and this also went to Airtel. And as you expect, this season is going to be even better and for the next 13 weeks, stay glued to the screen and witness some incredible touch and moments. In the brand new series, we take you across the country meeting individuals, families and communities who are going the extra mile to achieve something for everyone. They are trying to make lives better for themselves and for others. We also revisit some of our season one stories, bringing you your favorite characters again to your screen to find out how they are doing currently. So let's get the ball rolling. Let's look back at Sarah's story from season one of Touch and Lives. In Cape Coast, the team was moved by the incredible story of a strong-minded lady called Sarah. Primary, no, yeah, sometimes man, I'm quoting the Bissa, and Papa, no, or ride the motor, no, as Mark or Puan, no, I'm just a wire cry, a quinidae. The man, I'm here, and so come, may hope, and I'm a hope, So, see, see, I miss my one and it's How has it affected you in your daily movement? As I all have mind, the Abia, make it in so another Bibia, no more you drink. But apart from that, you know, my job is to move from Birmingham to me. I'm going to go to Birmingham. I'm going to go to Birmingham. It's for 23 years. How are you used to it? You didn't see that you were here. I'm going to go to Birmingham. 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 I was born in the house and I was born in the house and I was born in the house and I was born in the house. I was born in the house and I was born in the house. Yes, I was born in the house. I was born in the house and I was born in the house. I was born in the house. Aesthetic leg, and I said, You artificial leg. Zin, a top of four armor, which we are not saying. Say, Obia, we should get it. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me to welcome onto the show Sarah Ansa with a loud round of applause. Sarah! Oh, Tina, Sarah. Sarah, 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 Sarah. What do you say? Yes. When you have a job, you have to see the stress of your life. If you have a job, you have to see the stress of your life. I don't know. 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 It's me and my dad, I'm from Bia. Sir, and it was your friend who didn't have a job. It was your friend who saw him one day. One day, my independence, Kaka. Why are you independent? What is your name, Waza? I'm making it well. I'm working here. 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 And then, I'm not doing my own thing. I'm not doing my own thing. Wow. 
Why are they? They are here every month. They say she did. Wow. I shall receive. That's it. Okay. That is a story of Sarah. Oh gosh, she has a new leg now and she walks and does everything by herself. There's more to come on Touching Lives right after this. <laughs> there she goes. Touching Lives. Introducing my Airtel My Offer. It's all the best Airtel offers available now. Call 141 free to get an offer that's right for you. My Airtel My Offer from Airtel. Feel free. Touch your lives. Tell you what, age doesn't stop this woman from doing the best that she can in the lives of her nephews. Trust me. This story will take your breath away. When you close your eyes in prayer, what do you pray for? Is it a car? A house maybe? Do you wish for a scholarship to further your education? Have you ever held the thought that perhaps life isn't always about what you want? And that maybe when you close your eyes in prayer, someone somewhere might need a word or two said for them? When you meet Rebecca and her nephews, you will better understand what I mean. Being Ghana's fifth largest city, Sunyana is home to many traders who are mostly from the upper regions, bringing in farm produce to sell at the Nana Bosoma market, located right in the center of the city. Vincent lives with his auntie and siblings in area two, a few hundred meters from this market. Vincent, good morning. Can you tell me about yourself? I'm Vincent Akwa, a student of Catholic University College of Ghana, Fiatra, I'm offering BSc Economics and Business Administration. I'm in level 200. I went to the school on scholarship from the Sunyani Traditional Council, which covers only the tuition fee. Tell me about your family. I'm the fourth born of five disabled brothers. The first one is Frederick Quartin, who is now 32 years. Benjamin Quartin, who is now 28 years. Isaac Awa, who is now 25 years. Followed by me, Aqua Vincent, who is 21 years now. Followed by Emmanuel Yeboah, who is now 17 years. And David Jane, 13 years. So there are six of you? Yeah, six of you. How did they become disabled? Naturally, personally, I don't know. I asked myself, and I put a question to God. Why wasn't I born that way? Why were they born that way? But I'm also working hard with my aunt. That we always put a smile on their face. Where are your parents? My biological mother died 11 years ago. So my aunt took over to take care of us. Your mom died 11 years ago? Yeah, 11 years ago. Do you know what happened to her? What caused her death? She became sick. I think headache. According to the doctor, she thinks too much. She thinks so much. Thinks about the welfare of her children. Why is she only bringing forth this kind of children? It's something she always thinks about. So what work does your auntie do? Because of the workload in the house, she cannot do anything. She has to just stay home, make sure he prepares something for my siblings to eat. Help them if they are in any need. Like if they want to urinate, she washes their clothes and all this stuff. So by the time she finishes with all these things, time is fast spent. So how does she come by money to keep the family? We don't have any regular source of income. As you can see, my mom is not working and I'm also in school. So we live under the benevolence of other people. When things become so difficult, I ask God, why? Why all this? Why all this? No response. No response. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Wang. 
Tinia or the Ukraine Jaum, and my sister Bill Nami Mammy's Bill Wee, and dear Bassan, meet me and your human being. Say, I did the question here. The poor damn cacker. That the Susan Cat won't be a government or family quiet more not to ask the uncle. Me would have missed you. This is a weird and sweet cherry pie, and a general me am a tenacity genuine who said, So I miss you, and far far so be unread, and me am a giant, and he said, Make it our man, and me brass off, catch him, sell me dear, me me and me also more be a bit in beer, or the damp one, and make a shop clap, or bar, or the piano prayer, no one, Yamiko, be so coma, or would any but grab a chase, and I had that to be near dead. Tell me about your auntie. You nominated her. Uh, my mom died and there was no one to take care of us. My aunt took us and I've been doing well. Doing my work well, taking care of my siblings, cooking, washing, a whole lot, living his children. She He's, has children herself? Yeah, she has four children. One is in Accra, the others are here. Living with you here in the house? Yeah. There's six of you, your auntie herself, yeah. the two children, your cousins. Yeah. Who else? The grandmother. Uh, the grandchild. Grandma. The, the grandchild, grandchild yeah. as well. Yeah. So we're looking up at about ten people. Yeah. Why do you appreciate your auntie so much? Why do you appreciate what she does for you? Looking at how the situation is. Abandoning her job, her children, coming here. <laughs> when I think of it, I don't understand. Why how can a, a human being here? make such sacrifice. It's not easy. She gains nothing. She's just working. Tell me about your day-to-day -day routine. When I wake up in the morning, my aunt will be doing the cleaning up activity, that sweeping, washing of utensils and all this stuff. And I'll make sure my brothers brush their teeth, help them to enter the bathhouse so that my mom can bath them. But those ones that go to school take their own face and we send them to school in future. Which ones go to school? Who and who? Iman Royabua and Debijan, Lagoon. They go to school at St. James Junior High School, just in the vicinity. And then the others? They take their baths, we prepare something for them to eat. They enter back to their rooms and watch television. That's their favorite. They eat once a day, at most twice a day, most. What time do they get their one meal? Around 2.30, 3. So they're up in the morning, they're on empty stomach till half two, two, three o'clock? 2.30, 3, yeah. Three. When I'm home, sometimes I prepare breakfast for them in the early in the morning, so that around 3.30, 3 4, they take their final meal. Where do you get the money to prepare the breakfast? from friends and loved ones. What condition is this? More than the other things. There's a real cry and also a more real bad breath. There's no real holding you. No more young crack and crack. There's no more doing on some moon, you know, more yet. Now you're going to be pressing. Moon and my mini do it. And <laughs> I don't know when I do almost that. Sir, no moon and I say I do almost with the normal chum. Man, oh, yes, a strainer, they say so, yes, a swan. Oh, my dream was to say, my dream would almost say, my dream would do, papa, 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 Touch your life. 
Did you know there are 43 tiny muscles in the face? And sometimes every single one of them gets lazy all at once. And when they do, our face drops and we look sad. And then we feel sad. But if we wake them up, world can stop us from smiling. With 3.75G, the fastest internet connection available, Airtel brings you the power to be in touch face-to-face -to -face with the ones you love. Touch your lives. Maxwell is a true friend of the brothers who helps out whenever he can. biscuit. <laughs> 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 family. <laughs> 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 Despite their condition, Emmanuel and David have been freely accepted into their local school. Good morning, madam. Good morning. How are you? Fine. You have a beautiful school compound. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Do you know David and Emmanuel? Emmanuel, who is in Form 3, is a very lively boy. He relates very well. He tries sometimes to speak lawyer speech and language problem. But he's able to interact with his friends. So you think he can take the GHS exam and pass and pass well? The only problem is a bit slow. So I'm hoping that maybe I'll have to see who I am. We can give him some time because the friends write faster. How is he doing generally in school? What are his grades like? Mm, not too good, but he's trying because he can write mm -hmm. and he can read. And I mean, he's able to make some grades. So we are hoping that the final one will also come up so that he can further his education. Do you know David as well, the younger one? Yes, I've known David for one term, yes, he's in Form 1, and this is the second term. He can just begin. David, he smiles, he interacts, also he's free. What do his class teachers say about him? Mm, the class teachers, from what they say, it looks like David may do better than Emma academically. And they relate well with the other students? Yes, they, they relate very well. There's always a smile on their faces. Their friends make them very comfortable. They eat together, they play together, they learn together. They don't see themselves to be so different from them. The only problem is that they may not be able to walk about as their friends do. Good morning. Ima, your full name is saying? Emmanuel Yabua. Now, who goes to St. James Junior High School, what did you say? Form 3, David is where? What did you say? And I'm going to TV. I'm going to go to the TV. AC Milan, 
and then move back. Mushy, I did. Then I'm mushy. What's your mats? Oh, fine. If I also again, I'm mushy, I'm happy. Science. Move on, school. I'm going to fear then. I'm mushy, I did. Oh, 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 Mr. Medamas. What are your most dreams? He's very good in drawing the art. He says from the GHS, she wants to do visuals in the senior high school. And what about David? What are his mm. dreams? David is very good academically. What are the things he talks of? Games. <laughs> things that will just make him happy. Games and television, storybooks. Do they ever express sadness? Mm, I think sometimes when they are very hungry, when they are very hungry, you see them very quiet. What would you like for yourself and your brothers? The apartment. And there are about five people. Sometimes when Maso is here, they sleep together, six in a room. So I have to join my brother in the next room. They have three beds and they share it? Or they have two they beds? They just sleep on the bed floor. Just the bed floor. Is there any opportunity at all for your auntie to do something to earn a living that will not keep her away from your brothers? I would say yes. What are the possibilities? Something like a provision store just nearby. Uh, you can just come to the house any point in time just nearby the city. Hey, Diana, how did you say it? I said, I'm sorry, 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 I'm I want to further my education, get a regular source of income to support them just to keep them alive. They can't do anything of themselves. So what are they going to eat? What are they going to wear? Under what shelter are they going to keep themselves? What is going to make them happy? And it's my responsibility to do that as the only brother who is able. Thank you very much. Come. To Rebecca, prayer means staying strong and able for her disabled nephews. To Vincent, prayer means making it through school and through life to be able to support his brothers. To the brothers, prayer is life. The belief that whilst there's breath, there's always hope. And perhaps that's all that matters. And so when you close your eyes in prayer, hold that thought and be thankful for the gift of life and this extraordinary family. Until you back and in Abuafo, Aiko. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think this woman, Auntie Rebecca, deserves a standing ovation. Please be on your feet and let's applaud her. She is a wonderful woman, Auntie Rebecca. Let me show you. Amazing woman. Amazing. Now, David and Emma, my sister, my dear, was cool. Into the airtel, airtel creative learning materials and no no idea moody dear going in and i'm going to be a new share the answer come when did you want to get good 
na enwetwe no so Vincent matese school a wukọ no e your scholarship and it your school fees na mum no e no no e ma wusika ma ontumi fa high dine dia na wo perch e to so me kan cho so won perch bi o sans wo mu yi e 1000 Ghana cedis akọ ji hostel em pa ama mo ontumi ada em aso adwo no sia dia na daachi ba yo brempon wa ontumi ahwe ni anu ni na enwetwe no mu anu mu 5 ni na a sabi ya re e bubu wo mu bu demu Eto Ed Womo Eko OTC Center once a one. I'm a doctor for Ashomo Hunemu. Then we be a one one one. A doctor for which I say, Oh, yes, see, I have a woman done. Eto before a whole canning in a canny and a few more baby. Eto before you now, Sister Rebecca. Why are you? Eto Simon Cancho said, This year the women were there. So, Joe Homer. In the Eto say, one more casa, a cock or jet store, a mouth, and near my baby here, Tom and his cabin grow, more to me, and yes, a cabin for the dinner. What would you do? Now, anyway, children, no, you who sat down and moon, a musapa, ain't no air towns to be a good worker. On my stairs, special one, and could they be to me a fro at your form with their winning a minion. Anyway, children, so much I get dying a bit to me at the hood chairs, this and a minion, and also idea. A boom, it's a fear, and no idea. My brother, you have a sister here, pa. Ah, I tell you, I'm from Kenya. I'm in Shiram. So, I'm going to come and join you. No matter my age, I'm not making any money. I'm making so much money, I'm in Shiram. In Shiram, I'm going to be a musician, and I'm going to be a rapper, and I'm going to be a musician, and I'm going to be a rapper. All too soon, episode one has already ended. Watch out for more extraordinary stories from the next 12 episodes. Goodbye. Isaac Echampon also sent us a letter nominating Rebecca, so we have rewarded both him and Vincent for their efforts.